Welcome back, everyone. Um, this is a hard video for me to make, um, to edit, I mean. I've got pictures here of when David and I dropped the water level, and i am uh, got pictures here of us putting in the pipes, and I want to save the pipes. That's what you'll see um, since I did it with David. So um, I also want to drop the water level again since it's silted in because the dam is still open. So that's what basically this video it is, and I'll put a link to the description of the video, uh, the original video in here. So uh, hope you enjoy this one. couldn't decide where I wanted to put them. They're all full of sand anyway, so I've got to empty them out. But uh, I didn't want to have to move them more than once, so I finally decided to put them on the other side.
I put them staggered like this so that I can bring the uh, the uh, pallet forks down here and tip them up and get the sand out, run it through it, get the sand out, and then I can uh, pick them up and bring them bring them up where I'm going to leave them. I'm not obviously going to leave them down here because this all this material will be moved, but um, this will make it easier for uh, when I want to bring them up.
this is a good example of how having a hydraulic thumb is much better than a mechanical thumb uh, because this is a big mechanical disadvantage having that uh, when you're trying to dig far out like that that's why I, dig, I dug the hole uh, right in front of it just to give the thumb a little bit more room to get down but you still can't reach out where you really want to dig to having that on but it is handy Here's a little look about two days after uh, dro dropping that water level a little bit. Uh, you can see how far it's down. Uh, across the way. Probably about uh, two and a half, three feet. So that'll allow me, when I go across the, over to the north road there, that last bit of weeds that needs to be dug out before Goose Island. Um, it's not just weeds, there's quite a bit of material in there, so I'm going to get as much out of there as I can to continue over here, and then the rest of it will come from there. So, just figured I'd give a quick shot, but you could see the geese. That was a uh, nest island, right, as I called it. That's where they were nesting in the spring, but now they can just about stand over there. So, and you can see how much silted in by having the dam Where's my finger? Let's back up a little bit. By having the dam open where that's broken, um, you can see all that sand came in from the creek. It's not from it's not from here. Um, but if you remember, if you go back some old videos from you know a year and a half ago, whatever. Here, that's dug down. I was that's probably dug down at least uh, 15 feet. So a lot of that has come in. So. But I'm happy with, uh, with that little. I mean, it only took a few minutes to uh, drop that water level down. So, uh, just figured I'd get a quick shot of that.